So we were just learning about how big the sun is, how far away the sun is. What else do we really need to know about the sun to, I guess, understand it as an object in space? Well, it would be really great to know how heavy it is, how much it weighs. Now, we obviously can't take a scale. We don't really have a big enough scale to fit it, given how far away and large it is. So what do we use to figure out how much it weighs? Well, we're going to use the laws of gravitation. Now, ever since the 1600s, Newton realized that the same gravity that makes the Earth go round the sun and the moon go round the Earth also makes apples fall on people's heads, and it attracts everything. So it's not just something that goes out there in space with black holes and stars and things. So everything has gravity. For example, you have gravity. I mean, very grave demeanor, but also <laughs> uh, in you weigh, I won't try to estimate, but uh, approximation. I ballpark. weigh less than the sun. You certainly weigh less than the sun. Let's say ballpark, you're 50 to 100 kilograms. That's so right. It's called 100 for approximation's sake. And so you're, what, about a meter away from me? Yeah, that's about right. So we can work out the gravitational force that you apply on me, which will be the same as the gravitational force I apply on you. And that comes out as a whopping micro-newton of force. That doesn't really seem a lot. I kind of thought more of myself. <laughs> well, a micro-newton, to be precise, is about one thirty thousandth the weight of a mosquito. So, so, so my force on you being about 100 kilograms and about a uh, meter away is one thousand Thirty thousandth that of a mosquito landing on you. Yes, you remember that awful impact when a mosquito touches down. It's Thirty thousand. That's, that's not a lot. It's not a lot, um, which is kind of why gravity you don't notice it on Earth. Okay, you're not. Because obviously, yeah, if, if, if everything was acting on us, we would kind of be bouncing around all the time. But I mean, if let's take something a bit bigger than you. For example, Black Mountain, which is uh, just behind where we're filming this. I took this picture out the front, and um, Black Mountain weighs a bit more than you. It is bigger than me. I'll give it that, but uh, less than the sun. Uh, and it's also further away. Okay. Now, the law yeah. of gravity says that if something's heavier, it attracts more. But if it's further away, it attracts less. That's right. So it's got a trade-off here. It's mm. further away, which is going to give you less, but it's heavier, which gives you more. So if you do the figures. By my estimate, Black Mountain weighs about 10 billion times more than you. But fair enough to within a good approximation. Just assuming its height and its width and the typical density of rock, which is you know, five or six kilograms per cubic meter, five or six thousand kilograms per cubic meter. Um, but it's about two kilometers away, which is That's about right. 2,000 times further away than you are. Yep. And the gravity drops as the square of the distance. So if it's 2,000 times further away, it's 2,000 squared, squared. 2,000 times 2,000 times less gravity. Okay. So it's going to be about 10 to the 10. That's about 10 billion times more because it's bigger than you. Yep. But it's going to be 2,000 squared, which is about 4 million times less because it's further Another away. One. Yep. But this is bigger than that. So that means it's still more force than I am. It's still about 2,500 times more. So that's only a, only a tenth of a mosquito. It's only about a tenth of a mosquito. OK, it still puts into comparison. <laughs> so obviously, if we go closer to it, the force will increase because we're shortening that distance. If you're only like a few hundred meters from it, then it might actually be equivalent to the weight of a mosquito. OK, all right. And in fact, uh, people will walk at angles because of it. So for example, oh. everybody in North India walks at a slight angle because they've got the Himalayas off to the side. Interesting. And that's okay. pulling them over. All right. The angle is you know, far, 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 far less than a degree. So you don't notice everyone being at an angle. But, but likewise, it's, it's never, every, never everybody here on ANU campus will be walking at a slight angle because we have Black Mountain. But, <laughs> but again, it's not that much of an angle. It's uh, about, what, one tenth of a mosquito angle. That's right. Now, people often think you know, horoscopes may be there's a gravitational pull from the planets that um, it's going to make you meet a tall, dark, handsome stranger or something like this. Yeah, I mean, obviously, because the planets are much bigger than Black Mountain, right? So, yep. So, let's, for example, have... take uh, uh, Pluto and Charon. Okay. Random planet or not, as a case may be. <laughs> and uh, these are indeed a lot heavier than either you or Black Mountain. And a lot wider, and but also a, a lot, lot further, further away. away. So it weighs about 10 to the 20. That's one followed by 20 zeros more than you do, Brad. OK, I'll give Pluto that. But it's about a few times 10 to the 12 times further away. Yeah, I mean, one year on, it would take 10 years in a rocket ship just to get to Pluto. It's really, yes. really far away. So the force is going to be 10 to the 20 divided by that squared, which is about 900 times less than the gravity that you produce. So even though it's much bigger, I mean, Pluto is about the size of Australia, because it's so far away, it's 900 times less than me, which is already one thirty thousandth that of mosquito. Yes. So one 
two million seven hundred thousand some absurd <laughs> thing less than a mosquito. So that's not a lot. The p gravity of Pluto is not going to pull you out of your bed. Okay. So mosquitoes can push us more than Pluto. Yeah. So I think when you, if you're doing horoscopes, I think there could be a commercial market here. Instead of doing a horoscope about where Pluto or Neptune was last Thursday, you're going to meet a tall, dark, handsome stranger and lose all your money on the pokies. Maybe um, we should do horoscopes depending on how many mountains were near mm. the hospital where you were born. Okay. Or... or whether it was a fat doctor on your left and a thin nurse on your right. That's and right. these have a much bigger gravitational effect than anything to do with... Uh, were you, were you uh, on the beach away from the mountains or in the hills? Because obviously you may have a slight tilt depending on the Did the hospital have concrete floors and concrete roofs? These are all going to have a much bigger gravitational pull than where Pluto is going to be. So all of these, even though they're small and not necessarily that consequential, are way more than the planets, even say Jupiter, right? I mean, because Jupiter is much bigger than Pluto, but it's still pretty far away. That's right. So the gravity is there and it's actually quite measurable. In the next video, we'll talk about how we can actually use it to measure things. Okay.